So in section 4.3 and 4.4, we did a lot with polynomial long division, synthetic division. And then in 4.4, you started to really use that um, to find some stuff about some zeros and how to completely factor a polynomial. So the point of this video is we're going to try to walk through um, and factor this completely. So it's all going to be a nice little neat little linear factors, kind of like this. There should be four of them at the end, and we need to write it completely factored. So the first thing you need to do is we need to find a zero. So step one is going to be to find a zero. So in looking at the table, I see there's a couple zeros. I'm just going to list a few of the points. If you look at the table, you should see that um, when x is 1, y is 0. Again, I'm just looking at the uh, table in my graphing calculator. And I also see that when x is 4, y is 0. You might see a few more, but uh, I think we only need two for this problem because what we're going to try to do now is we're going to take this fourth degree polynomial and we're going to use synthetic division with one of these zeros. So I see over here that I have a 0 of 1. So now I'm going to do synthetic division with 1. So we're going to put 1 in the box here and then the coefficients in front of um, that we find in front of our polynomial that we're dividing into. So coefficient in front of x to the fourth is 1. Coefficient in front of x cubed is negative 4. Our x term has a coefficient of negative 21. Our x term is 104. And then our constant is 80. We leave a little space. We draw a big line underneath. And remember what you do here. We're going to bring this first number down. So we'll bring that one down. And so we have a 1 down here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the number in the box by the number on the bottom. So 1 times 1 is 1 negative 4 plus 1. Now we add down. So negative 4 plus 1 gives us negative 3. And then again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply here. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. There should be a pattern here. And now negative 21 plus negative 3 is going to give us negative 24. 1 times negative 24 is negative 24. 104 plus negative 24 is going to be 80. 1 times 80 is 80. So when you do the synthetic division, again, we went through synthetic division in, I think, section 4.3 earlier this week. Your remainder is 0. So this is your quotient. These are the coefficients in your quotient, are these ones right here. And this is your constant number. This is going to be the number in front of your x. This is the number in front of your x squared and x cubed. So you see what we did is we started with a fourth degree. When we divided it by this factor, um, it dropped it down to a cubic one.
and we're going to do synthetic division again. So remember, first we bring the one down, one goes here, then we're going to do, then we're going to do four times one, which gives us four. Negative three plus four is a positive one. We multiply four by one down here, and that's going to give us four. Negative 24 plus four is negative 20. Four times negative 20 is 80. And again, your remainder is zero. It should be, if you are doing this, if you picked a number from the calculator that had a y equals zero, you better have a zero for your remainder, or else check your math, you did something wrong. So how'd that help me? Well, now I have f of x is equal to, um, remember up here I had that original factor of x minus 1. I got to rewrite that one. That's still there. You see here I divided by 4. If we put that in factored form, it would be x minus 4. And now let's take a look. Remember this is the resulting coefficients in front of the polynomial. So this is going to be the constant number. This is going to be the number in front of x and this is going to be the number in front of x squared. So I have those first two linear factors of f of x and I also have this 1x squared plus 1x minus 20. And we should know how to factor a quadratic like this. Factors of negative 20 that add to 1 are going to be, so this right here is going to break up into x plus 5 and x minus 4. And then I recopy these other two factors, x minus 4 and x minus 1. And you can see that I've got this completely factored now. Um, so now if I had to state what the zeros are, again, we found these from the calculator, but this one gave us, so our zeros are going to be, that's going to give us 1. So we're going to have x equals 1. Um, this one right here is going to give you a 0 of 4. The other one's going to give us a 0 of negative 5. Again, you find those by setting them equal to 0. And then that last one, you see this is our, we already have that one taken care of right now. So. Those are the zeros right there.